Now, zooming out, how far did you end up getting with that education of yours? I went to uh, college, like community college. I could have went to uh, some other stuff, but I really was focused on football at first, and then I figured that wasn't really going to work out. So uh, I got to just sticking around, trying to do the college thing. But by the time, around that time, I was just like, fuck it. I just took the free community college route. And how much did you get under that belt? Were you at least able to get the associate's degree of first two years of college, for example? See, now look, this is what happened. If I would have uh, never got signed, I would have for sure stuck it out because it was free. They paid for that shit type shit. And I was getting money to go to school. Like when they gave you that back taxes or whatever they gave you for the books after all that, I probably still had like two bands left. So back then I was balling to me. But uh, I had got signed to Boosie like a semester in the college. So I was trying both, for sure, for sure. I was trying to do both, but trying to be back and forth from Michigan to Atlanta, trying to focus on my schoolwork and trying to do music. I'm like, man, I got to think of one. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll just stick to the music. But I do regret kind of not getting my degree. I wanted to go back and get my degree, for sure. When kids grow up, sometimes they have aspirations of what they want to do, mm -hmm. what they want to be when they grow older. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Did you have any? Yeah, like, <clears throat> I ain't want to be no rapper. It just was like an opportunity that came to me type stuff. So I really just wanted to be rich or make some money for real, just take care of my mom. You know? Well, on that note, even though you didn't want to become a rapper initially, how did that end up happening for you? Uh, Like... And like I didn't want to become one. Like I was doing it like for fun, but like um, after doing a little football stuff, trying to figure it out after high school, we got to doing songs that got the buzzing around there, around the city. And then somebody that had a feature with Boosie, an older dude, my uh, my manager, my old manager, um, he had took. Well, we he went back to Atlanta to get another verse from Boo. And then he had show Boo us. And then that's Boo like, oh, yeah, I want to fuck with them. When I say Boo, I mean Boosie. So, yeah, he, Boosie was like, yeah, oh, yeah, I want to sign him. So he had us do like an A-song little demo type shit to make sure we were serious. We came down there and then showed it to him. Then we signed the paperwork. We went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, like a couple weeks later and then signed the paperwork. And do you want to shout out your old manager or? Oh, yeah, shout out God. Like, when I say old, like, he's still, like, around, but, like, he be doing his own shit. Like, he got this weed stuff going on right now, so he really focused on that. So, so no uh, beef between you two? Mm -mm. Hell no. Shout out, bro. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, what was the top point for you during your upbringing? in Battle Creek, what was your highest point or most positive moment growing up in that area for you? Like as a kid or like uh, around like... The entire Battle Creek upbringing. Uh, shit, probably show getting signed and making it out that motherfucker. Like, cause yeah, that for sure. Ain't nobody really did no shit like that around there. So like when we did it, and, Man, everybody like, oh yeah, I can do something now. Like, I can do it. Man, everybody wanna rap. Everybody really wanna lock in. So like, that's really probably like, yeah, my highest point. Then like graduating high school, cause like, I was fucking up like my ninth grade year. I didn't even uh, think I was gonna do that. That's really, that's really what fucked up like the college thing too. Like, why it was like, wasn't a lot of colleges coming after me. Really why I took the KCC route, that college, community college route, cause I, that grade point average, if you fuck up your first, your ninth grade year, that shit gonna reflect going through high school. So like, I barely passed. They passed me with all D's. Like, I had all E's because I was locked up on them tether and shit, doing stupid ass shit. I stayed after, and right before uh, the year had uh, ended, and then pass because they said I could pass with D's. So I was like, fuck it, pass with D's. That fucked my GPA up though. For sure, for sure. And care to share the name of that community college back then? Uh. KCC, Kellogg Community College. What's it really like 
being on Badass Music Syndicate. That's cool as hell, shit. Sure. And just like every other label, you just gotta work, stand out. Like, you're gonna have other artists that may surpass you, that would may got signed after you or before you. Like, you just gotta wait your turn. Like, you can't be hanging on no nigga and just stay true. Don't do not do no snake shit. Like, I ain't gonna speak on nobody else's situation, but like, if you know, you know with big dog shit. So just stay authentic and then not do no whole shit. Now, who do you have the closest bond with on that imprint? Uh, other than like, like my gang, like who I'm signed with, or who I got signed with, probably. Uh, Could be someone in front of the scenes like you, like other artists or someone behind the scenes, like staff members, things of that nature? Probably uh, there's other art, there's other artists, OG Dre and then D Rogers, and then we locked in with his son, Tootie. So like, we really built that bond with his son, other than his dad, because he closer to our age. So yeah, we really locked in with Cud. Now, did you have a bond with any of these names you just mentioned prior to signing? No, no, like, we ain't, we ain't know each other from Nothing before this shit. That's why like, it was really authentic from the go. That's why I fuck with OG and D. They for sure I taught a nigga the route, like, really. Because I was young coming in here. They taught me, like, what to do, stuff like that. And then Tootie just being who he is. We just locked in. Because it's cool people. Real love. Now, hypothetically speaking, if you were stranded on an island with one person from Badass Music Syndicate, who would it be and why? Man. My nigga Boo, Boosie, because he going to get us out that situation. If it's just us standing on that island, then Big Bro going to make me laugh and shit. That nigga funny as hell. So we going to get out that situation. We going to get out that gym for sure. That's one thing I could say for sure. Bro going to get out of something, no matter what it is. Bro going to find his way up.